it is Monday morning, August 18th, and I am, I just got done with breakfast. I went to IHOP, because, <laughs> you know, my birthday is tomorrow, and uh, I get a free uh, Rudy Chitty Fresh and Fruity from IHOP, but I didn't get the Rudy Chitty Fresh and Fruity. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't get the Rudy Chitty Fresh and Fruity. You can get anything that's equivalent to the same price. So I just got some eggs, hash browns, and pancakes. And it was delicious. Now I'm headed to, I got this like side job where I basically tutor kids after school. So I'm headed to that right now. Yes, pregnant ladies can work. Keep hope alive. I got really sick during my first trimester. Like it was really, really horrible. I actually thought I was dying. <laughs> I never thought that I was pregnant. I thought I was dying. And um, I ended up going to the doctor and uh, getting like iron tests and diabetes tests. I was like, oh my God, something is so wrong with me. I don't know what's wrong. Like I wasn't even able to do anything. Like my, um, one of my clients would be like, oh, can you do this for me? And I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't even get out of bed. So um, she actually prompted me to get a pregnancy test. She was like, are you sure you're not pregnant? I was like, no, no way. And um, I got the test, <laughs> and I, the first one I took wrong. A couple hours later, I took the second one. I was so shocked. Like I just thought I, I thought I had the flu, that I had cancer, I was diabetic. I thought my anemia was like back with a vengeance because I was so exhausted. And um, little did I know I was pregnant. Now that I'm feeling so 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 much better, I mean, there are definitely some growing pains that come with being pregnant, but it is nothing compared to what I was feeling before. When I'm working, I'm doing this. I have four clients that I service for my organizing slash personal assistant business. You know, I gotta hustle for my baby. And as you guys know, my baby girl, yes. I have to show her that her mother is a boss. And I think it just works out, you know. I don't, I don't do well working for other people. Not that I, like, can't work with a team and everything like that it's just I do better I'm super I'm like super organized I'm hyper like anal <laughs> so when I work for people if you're not that kind of boss like the kind of boss that's super organized and just like knows what you're doing and on top of it I see through that and it makes it hard for me to do my job like it makes me hard for me to it makes it hard for me to you know do what you ask if you're like if you don't know if you're not if you're not organized like how do I exp express it I just worked for a lot of people who are very chaotic and disorganized and it's hard for me to kind of fall in that and go with the flow like I do the best that I can but I like to be organized I like to be paid on time I just I run like clockwork like that's just how I how I do how I do I've always known I was destined to have my own business and to work for myself but unfortunately in this economy, I mean, you can't just do that. Hello. It is Tuesday, August 19th, and it's my birthday. Well, the end of my birthday. I didn't vlog today because I just been tired and it's my birthday, but I did want to say thank you, thank you so much to those people who gave me a shout out, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I love you guys, my family and my husband for making my birthday special. I mean, this year is different because I am with baby. So um, it just makes it a little bit different and I'm extremely exhausted, but I'm excited and I look forward to many more birthdays. Thank you, I'm gonna go to sleep right now and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is Wednesday, August 20th and I am headed out to meet with one of my clients. Anyways, I wanna talk about her. Yesterday was my birthday, and I was actually kind of not feeling that well, but I tried to make the best of it because it's always a blessing to be um, on this planet another year longer, so I'm very blessed and thankful for that. It's my last one before I become a mommy. My birthday might be really different next year. I want to say shout out to Sherry for, like, giving me hand-me-downs <laughs> because... Um, getting dressed in the morning now has started to take me a lot longer just because I can't fit anything like I and I'm still not 
as big as like, like people can't tell I'm pregnant. Like, I can't fit my pants. Like all I can wear is dresses and she gave me this dress because she was going to give away a bunch of clothes, like donate a bunch of clothes and I'm like, <laughs> donate to me. So um, they're this really cute uh, gray New York company dress, it's just like a, I don't know, like a straight dress and uh, I just, I really need more clothes. If you guys have any secondhand maternity clothes, I would be oh so gracious for it. The vlogs. I mean, you guys are watching. I know you're watching. I can see your views, so that's awesome. Thank you. Uh, I I spend a lot of my day by myself, so yes, these are going to be very much so KB centric, just because I I am driving. I'm by myself a lot. I work for myself. Work Hello, it's me. <laughs> So today is Thursday, August 21st, and um, I'm at my side job, part-time job, whatever. It's my hustle. I'm here. And um, I'm just waiting right now um, for the kid that I'm supposed to pick up. I'm waiting for him to get out of school. I'm actually really early, but I don't know why I'm mumbling. But it's really important to be early no matter what job you are. At because my motto if you're early you're on time if you're on time you're late and if you're late don't show up don't bother forget it you're fired that's how I feel and it's very easy to be late completely like I want to say innocently in LA because anything can happen you just don't know what can happen on the freeway I mean um, random construction people just don't know how to drive just unforeseen traffic so um, I'm always 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 super duper early to whatever event or job that I have to go to you know even if I have to wait that's why I bring stuff to do like I have my bag of bag of stuff to do and I actually am writing out questions because I have a doctor's appointment today so I have this really cool notebook that I journal for my um, pregnancy and I'm just writing out some things that I need to ask my doctor about. For example, my anemia results. Anemia. So I was a little bit anemic but I'm not worried about that because I was anemic before I got pregnant. And um, I was really doing well on fixing my anemia without iron pills because I was eating so many vegetables, but you know. Okay, who's texting me? Seriously. Aww. My uncle is wishing me a happy belated birthday. That's sweet. Oh, Jesus. Um, big pet peeve of mine. I do not like rude people! Ugh! Oh my gosh. Like, I... I don't like when people are rude, like in customer service. If you hate your job that much, quit. Because I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. You know, like being rude, like if you have your, I, it, ooh, it just frustrates that. I don't like rude people. That just like really pissed me off. Like I, I feel like I need to like woosa and I, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Like, I just don't like rude people. I don't, I, there's no reason to be freaking rude if no one gives you a reason to. When I'm having a great day, which I am, with my little Ella, can you guys see her? My Ella? I just, I don't like rudeness. It seriously, like, messes with me. Do you guys like when people are rude? That's what I think you're doing. I don't like it when people are rude to me. If you're having a bad day, walk the other direction. Like, seriously. I, because walking up to me when you're in a bad mood or getting an attitude with me is not a good idea. And for anybody who knows me, they know it's not a good idea to get an attitude with me. So the um, what's the heart rate? One fifty-four. And what's the range? 
Oh, okay. There you go. She's raining. Girls usually have faster heart. We just left the 22-week appointment for Miss Ella, and everything's going great. Um, you know, just generally, we just now our appointments are kind of like we sit and talk, and um, we listen to the baby's heartbeat. She's in there, still beating. It was easier to find her heartbeat this time, so that was really good. And I have got to pee really, really bad. Let's look at Miles. Looks like he found a snack. Oh, oh. Yum, yum, yum. I wonder if Ella's gonna be a nail biter like her daddy. Probably. Well, you know who else bite their nails? LeBron James, the greatest basketball player in the world, right? Lies, Miles. Yeah. You don't, oh, how you know free, that? Cause he be at the free throw line like this, right? You don't know that. So Miles, how was your day today? Well, the people want to see you, Miles. That's okay. Why I'm giving them what they want. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I'm sorry. I'm tired. I don't know why I'm so tired. I'm always tired. You are. You ain't never got no time for us. Don't crash. Why are you up here playing with? I'm not gonna crash. Just lime green it's gremlin, late. friggin' the Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> the <clears throat> the Riddler. They have a guest entrance. <laughs> Don't put it right there. They can't see you don't, one of them. But you don't know that, Miles. I you don't, don't know, know the that. capacity of the Watch when I go to edit this. It was a perfect frame. There we go. Can y'all see us? Nope. Like right now, if you can see us. Like this video. It's a Bentley. Oh, that's oh yeah, that's something that Miles does a lot. When we're driving, Miles will announce what each car is. If it's a car, I guess that's. Uh, to, if oh, it's a God. baller car, yeah. Yeah, if he I announces see a Ferrari, it to the world. If I see a Maybach, if I see a Rolls or a Bentley, then I make sure people ain't missing. When we saw the Bugatti. First of all, Miles, wait. Let me right? look at your outfit again. I think what? you're trying to like match me. No, I think you're trying to match me. You ain't announced that car. A Porsche isn't good enough. Nope. <laughs> Old school Rolls Royce. That's so annoying. Like Ella is gonna be like, Daddy, why are you always saying names of cars? I don't get it. Oh, what are you gonna say to her? But mommy said always question. Y'all you. question daddy, you question mama. I have a lot of vlogs in the car this week because that's just where I've been. I just be in the car. Well, that's probably why people think it's longer. If it's just you in the car, you gotta take something. You gotta get out of the car. Are take you saying that I'm boring? Well, no, no take, I can't take not, away It's not a matter of being boring, but it's like if you have a, a TV show that take place on one set. This is not a TV show, this is my no, life. I know, but I'm using an example of a TV show. And that whole show take place in one location, then you're gonna be like, okay, this is a long show. It might be 30 minutes, but you're gonna be like, man. Well, I'm gonna edit it, Miles. Yeah, like, I'm not that. just but gonna. Still, but still, after you edit it, you're still gonna be in the car. So that's why you gotta take it with you when you get out the car when you go do stuff. Like I was saying, even at the doctor's appointment. Even... So can y'all hit that like button if you guys like the fact that my week-long vlogs are 10 minutes long?